In fact, are you paying tax over here? So why should your opinion matter so much that it will prevent me from living? Before I realize you are dead and you've not done anything. Is that how you want to live? Is that the legacy you want to leave behind? No. Yeah, here are the things I'm not doing in my 30s. And no, I'm not sorry. I'm not going to apologize for it. So <laughs> let's get right into it. The very first one is caring what people think. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace to all the goals or all the things I didn't do because I was thinking, of, oh, wow, this person say, oh, wow, this person. God knows where I would have been on YouTube if I had just gone ahead and created my channel and just posted my content rather than sitting back and thinking, wow, this person say. In fact, I know a lot of people that want to go into content creation, but they are so much into their head. Oh, wow this person say oh i don't i don't i don't want to i feel some type of way like i'll set up a camera and just be filming yes that's what i'm doing right now i set up a camera and i'm pretending to be talking to an audience because why not why not and honestly i have gone out of that phase where i care about what people think people are so busy living their lives they hardly have time to think of themselves less of thinking about you with everything that is going on in the world so my dear no matter your age huh stop worrying about what people think of you whatever goal you want to achieve do it and do it well okay <laughs> another thing that i'm not doing is not caring about my appearance see if there's one thing i think everybody should learn is to know how to maintain their attractiveness whether you're a man or a woman, broke or rich, married or not, taking care of yourself is very, very important. Don't go and be looking anyhow. Look, when you look anyhow, people don't even want to deal with you. You have to care. You need to learn what works for you and know how to package yourself well. People will love to deal with you. Trust me, look, looking good is good for business. A girl once told me that she bought from me because I look put together. I was like, oh, thank you so much. So yeah, looking good is good for business. Sometimes people can't talk sincerely, like your friends and family cannot tell you that, oh, you are not, you're not looking anyhow, maybe your hygiene and um, how you present yourself. People can't talk sincerely and tell you the truth. You have to make it a priority to make sure that, look, you are representing well, because trust me, how you appear is how you are showing up for your friends and loved ones. People might not even want to invite you to their program because they know you are not, you are you are coming to book anyhow. You are coming to meet them. Please, we are not doing that. We are not ignoring our appearance. Beauty is currency. Okay, so don't play, <laughs> don't play. I remember my auntie. Like I'm very close with my auntie. So in my videos, if you hear my auntie, my auntie is my young auntie. I'm referring to. Okay, I remember she called me one time on video call. It was even in the morning. Then she saw my face. She was like, hey, where am I going with this face beat? I said, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> she was like, hey, am I not doing too much? Of course, I'm, I'm trying to maintain beauty. I've been maintaining beauty since. It's not now that like I'm married, so I'm coming to do anyhow and pretend I don't know how to take care of myself and be wearing wrapper around the house. No, wearing my PJs and I'm looking all nice because I have nowhere to go. And looking good, makes you feel good about yourself you get up you're looking good it makes you want to do things it makes you want to come on youtube it makes you want to go on tiktok it makes you you just feel good like you have your life together and that's what i'm talking about <laughs> the next thing i'm not doing is suffering you know some people just want to do the heavy lifting they want to do the difficult thing so that people will applaud them oh you did this oh you're doing so well no please if there's an easy way out i'm taking it because why should i suffer like why do you want me to suffer uh -huh. i'm going somewhere there's a bus that goes there there's an uber that goes there but you want me to walk why why am i going to do that uh if i can afford a washing machine yes i'm going to buy the washing machine and let it do the laundry because what will i get from spending all day sitting down and washing when there's an easy way out yeah so let's normalize no suffering in our life figuring out how to do things that does not involve suffering or let's let's stop seeing suffering as godly or as holy or as 
no no let's let's not do that if there's an easy way of doing something take it there's no reward for suffering like people will just applaud you but at the end of the day you are the one that suffered you are the one that is suffering and you are the one that is going to impact so that's my two cents and now that we are grown grown we are not doing that another thing that i'm not doing is people pleasing i mean being too nice hiding how i truly feel just so that i'll make the other person feel better no 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 if you want me to do something for you and i cannot do it my answer is going to be no oh i'm so sorry i cannot do this at this moment huh if you do something to me that didn't sit well with me i'm going to tell you oh you did a b c and i didn't like it you know talk communicate don't hide don't be bottling things inside you you are the only one that it hurts and one day you just explode tell people how you truly feel do not hide your feelings we are adults what are they going to do to you are they going to beat you no <laughs> there's no point in lying as an adult who pays bills who is independent why do you have to lie huh you don't have to lie speak the truth nobody will beat you yeah so i'm not doing that i'm not i'm not people pleasing and i'm not hiding how i feel i say it as it is and life goes on nobody will die when you speak your mind nobody will die if you tell if you should tell them no nobody will die if you put yourself first life goes on <laughs> another thing that i'm not doing is not having a relationship with god actually this should have been first but i don't know why i yeah not having a relationship with god is very serious i have come to understand that everything that has happened to me in life is because of the almighty okay it is not by my strength it is not by my power it is not by my knowledge it is not by anything it's just god who decided that i'm going to bless this girl because she's my daughter <laughs> yeah so right now not having a relationship with god is deadly hmm? when you wake up every morning you have to talk to god you have to be grateful you have to give back you just have to make sure that in everything that you do you involve god because it is not by your strength it is not huh day in day out you are protected by a mighty power not having a relationship with god at this point in your life i'm sorry you are doing it all wrong okay put everything in the hands of the almighty huh let him do the heavy lifting and you just do what you have to do and understand that whatever you have achieved in life your good health uh, you have shelter you have food you have clothes it is not by your strength or because you are special everyone is special in their own way another thing i'm not doing is faking it or trying to be perfect see it took me a very long time to understand that perfection doesn't exist there were times that like you i'll film a video from start to finish and then maybe there's something i said in the video or there's one word that i don't even know how i pronounced it because of that i'll throw away the whole video and have to record it again and again and again look i just leave it <laughs> what can come can come i don't kill person eh? i don't kill person it's content i am creating and no one is perfect perfection does not exist so stop trying so hard to be perfect and stop expecting people to be perfect huh learn to forgive somebody did something to you they did one wrong to you but they've done 99 good things and then because of that oh hey eh, like trying to be perfect all the time it's only going to give you a headache and at the end of the day you might not be moving at a faster rate because you are craving perfection like i want to do something and i'm waiting for the perfect time to do that thing there's never a perfect time there is never a perfect time you want to go to school and study something but you're like oh okay i'll wait when i'm done with this when i'm done with that no no you want to apply for a job but you're like oh um i want to wait till i get my no you want to go to the gym oh i want to wait till i buy my gym whatever you have wait and go to the gym all i'm trying to say is that there's never a perfect time to do anything if you are waiting for something to be perfect before you realize you are dead and you've not done anything 
is that how you want to live is that the legacy you want to leave behind no another thing i'm not doing is neglecting my health eating anyhow not prioritizing my gut health this could actually fall under the second point see i am very mindful of anything i put in my body because it's important you have to check the ingredients on things you have to make sure that you are choosing healthy options you have to minimize sugar take your vitamin go to the gym prioritize your health because health is wealth if you wake up and you are sick there's nothing you can do you can't even enjoy life so why would you not want to prioritize your health and gut care is very important because all, all diseases start in your gut since i started prioritizing my gut health i feel so much better we always talk about self-care self-care go do your hair go do your nails take care of your skin but we forget that self-care starts from the inside yeah? it's an inside job it starts from the inside out so you cannot be putting rubbish or whatever into your body and then on the outside you want to look perfect you want to look flawless you want to look unbelievable no it starts from the inside so prioritize your gut health and then it will ride it will radiate it will radiate you see the profession i'm talking about i can pronounce this word but as soon as i turn on the camera hey the english is gone <laughs> yeah another thing i'm not doing is following trends copying blindly following the crowd like have you noticed that of late everyone looks the same everyone looks the same for me my style is like a classic cheek style you know even when i'm shopping i don't like shopping trendy items like there's this fashion trend that is going on that most ladies look naked on the streets like they look naked huh let's normalize like covering up and be modest if i look if you want to show a little bit of cleavage that's okay but some some people go all the way some people go all the way like it's not cute and when you're shopping things shop things that you can start in so many ways stop shopping trendy items because look you will not save money and you will not look good and you will not look unique if you are shopping trendy items because what the next person is wearing it like you can just step out and see your twin sister you guys are wearing the same thing that is not cute that is not cute shop pieces that you can wear in like a two years three years four years five years look i have dresses that i've <laughs> i've been wearing for five or more years now sometimes when i wear something then my husband will be like oh you still have this dress i'm like yeah that's because it's it, it, it's it's not a trendy piece so i can wear it and wear it and wear it and even give it to the next person and that person will thank me so i'm not following trends like mm, i'm not like the pink hair lemon green hair purple hairs for me it's a no it's a no i'm sorry it's a no because it's just a no a big no another thing i'm so not doing is lowering my standards look be it in friendship dealing with family dealing with business people like you for me i can't say in a relationship because i am married but if you are single yeah in a relationship do not lower your standard the standard should always be high whoever wants to be in your life or whoever wants to deal with you must rise up to your standard to be able to deal with you lowering your standards does not hurt like sorry lowering your standard hurts only you only you sometimes you even lower your standard for someone and the person ends up showing you shady <laughs> i don't know if you have experienced that like you lower the standard because maybe due to one or two reasons like you give someone the benefits of the doubt and at the end of the day those people they will deal with you so the standard there is forever going to remain high and if you want to deal with me or deal with whoever you need to rise up to that standard so ladies no lowering your standards especially if you're in your 30s you have <laughs> you know better another thing that i'm so not doing is arguing with people going back and forth why would i want to do that especially like on my phone i will just gracefully and respectfully block you as if i never knew you because ah why 
I am not I am not going to do sometimes you just post like a funny meme or something that everybody will just watch and laugh but some people will be in their feelings clearly they can see that what you have posted is meant to be a joke but they will want to come and argue with you argue with you argue with you why if you don't like something somebody posted don't even type a negative comment we are all on social media people post things every day that i don't agree with but i don't go be in the comment section trying to argue with them trying to make them see my point no you have a phone you have a you have data why don't you record what you feel is right why do you have to come and argue with me over something that i said huh i'm not going back and forth with anybody like i said i do what i gracefully <laughs> block you and keep it moving and i think everybody should do the same huh sometimes i see people's um comment section somebody is busy arguing with everyone else hey you don't have work to go to you don't have better things to do with your time you want to sit here and be arguing with strangers on the internet nah next guess what there was a point in my life that i was so afraid of repeating clothes not that i was afraid of it but if i wear the outfit today i want to wait for like air to pass <laughs> air to pass on top before i repeat it again no please now if i wear the outfit today tomorrow if i want to wear it as long as it's not smelling or or as long as i can wash it iron it and wear it i'm going to do that nobody can beat me i bought it with my own money so why should i now come and be worried that oh i'm wearing it too much in fact i have a dress that anytime i wear it my sister will be like hey semencia this is your airport outfit because she said i wear it so much but yeah at the end of the day i bought it with my money and i love it i, I actually bought it because i like it so why should i wear it one two and not wear it again she said i wear it too much <laughs> another thing i'm not doing i'm not entertaining toxic relationship no if you're my friend and all you do is criticize everything i do and not even one single compliment or maybe you criticize me more and more and more than you compliment me i'm sorry you have to go in fact i cannot have such negative energy around me or we are friends and anytime we link up is like gossip bad advice and no business ideas know how we can actually elevate our lives how we can make money all we do is talk about other people or you just have a negative vibe or i tell you about my goals and you don't encourage me and you're putting me down you're telling me i can't do it i can't this i am not going to entertain you i am too old for that like i feel like i'm too old and wise and i've been through so much in life to entertain someone who um is not a fan look you should brag about the people in your circle and make other people want to meet them there was a time i spoke to my parents about my my friend now my dad was like oh he wants to marry my friend that's how you have to brag about your your friends you know talk about your friends so that people other people want to meet them but some people they cannot have conversations with other people without talking about their their friends even some people talk badly about their friends to their boyfriends why if you don't have anything to bond over zip it and keep it moving you don't have to bad mouth your friends to your lover to make you look special or to make you look like a good girl who does that so yeah i'm not going to entertain any negativity and toxic people the next two things i want to talk about is ignoring red flags and not setting boundaries like this one can go to my single ladies but yeah when you are talking to a guy or you are dealing with people do not ignore the red flags huh the red flags are a sign if you ignore the red flags it will go around and come back and bite you so yeah we are not ignoring red flags i just i want to rush because i feel like this video is about to be long and i do not like my videos being so long so yeah and then you also have to set boundaries set boundaries boundaries are so 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 important if you don't have boundaries if you don't set boundaries in your life you just be entertaining people's trash behavior what does that make you a trash can and you're not a trash can so you're not a trash can oh my god <laughs> yeah so set boundaries yeah so that brings me to the end of 
who my days i did not introduce myself i just turn on the camera and i'm just yabby 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 oh my god please my name is rama if you're new here welcome and i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one okay let me know if you enjoyed this video and let me also know if you want more of these topics i'm sure we can do that i'll see you in my next one bye you can bank on it you can put a hundred grand on it anything i said